So you bought your first ring sling because you heard all the hype about it and you thought this was going to be the thing that was going to revolutionize your life with your baby and you tried it for the first time and you hated it or your baby hated it and you've decided since then that you just might not be one of those parents that's cut out for baby wearing with a ring sling. Um, I was one of those parents when I first started with slinging. In fact, I gave up on it many times along the way. Uh, but now that I've gotten a little bit better at using ring sling, I've realized that there were some mistakes that I was making that were ultimately making it hard for me to love baby wearing and for my son to love it too. So I thought today I would go over the five mistakes that you might be making if you hate using a ring sling and talk to you a little bit about how you might fix those problems. If you're making any of these mistakes, just go ahead and know that these are super common. I made all five of these, so no judgment here. This is just something that kind of every novice baby wearer has to work through in order to get good at it. So don't feel bad if you're doing these things, just think about how to fix them and hopefully you'll get more adjusted to it and it'll become an enjoyable thing. So let's go ahead and jump right into those five mistakes and how to fix them. The number one mistake that I made when I started baby wearing and that I see a lot of baby wearing moms and dads doing is not tightening the middle third of the sling. So most of us know when we start tightening a ring sling that we need to pull these two rails to make this nice and tight. But where we sometimes forget to tighten the sling when we're new at this is the middle part right here. If you don't pull this middle third right here as you're tightening your sling, what you basically end up with is a loose, saggy seat that does not support your baby's weight. The result of that is that you start getting a lot of pain up here in your neck and shoulders where the top rail is hitting you, and your baby actually gets some pain too underneath their knees where the bottom rail is positioned. The best way to ensure that you're tightening the middle third of the sling is to start with one of your two rails when you begin tightening and work your way from one rail to the other, focusing lots of attention in the middle, going strand by strand. So you don't ever want to grab these two rails and just pull them both at the same time and be done. You want to grab one rail and begin pulling and then go strand by strand pulling each part of the sling. This is what's going to really really form that seat in the middle third and make it nice and secure for your baby. The next common mistake that I see is not unlocking the rings. These rings are designed to lock when there is weight in them, and what that means is they basically clamp down on the fabric of the ring sling so that it doesn't slip and your baby doesn't fall out. Since I don't have a baby in my sling right now, I can really easily grab this part of the sling and pull, and the rails tighten super easy. But if I stick my elbow in here and put some weight down into it, look at how hard it is for me to pull these. It is almost impossible to pull the fabric of this sling through the rings when I'm putting pressure on it like this. So imagine having your baby inside of this sling with all that weight pulling down and you're trying to tighten the sling. It's just not gonna work. So one of the mistakes that is easiest to avoid when wearing your baby in a sling is to just make sure that you are supporting all of baby's weight while you're tightening the rings. So you get your ring sling all set up, you get your baby inside of here, and instead of just lightly supporting baby's bum, you actually wanna take that weight and pull up. Just support all of your baby's weight right here on your arm, and that's gonna unlock the rings so that you can pull that fabric through and get it nice and tight. The third common mistake that I see all the time is starting with your rings too low. If you don't know, the proper place for your rings to go on your chest is at corsage or boutonniere level. So think back to when you went to high school dances, wherever your uh, date pinned your flowers on your chest is kind of right where those rings need to go. Now when I first started as an inexperienced baby wearer, I always made sure that I got my sling perfectly in place before I put my baby in it. So I would begin with the rings right here on my shoulder where I wanted them to end up when I was all finished tightening the sling. But inevitably, what would happen is after I got the sling all tightened and pulled the way I wanted it, the rings were way down here at my chest. Sometimes they were right in my baby's face, which is definitely not how you want it to be. And it became incredibly frustrating for me. So my solution is to just start with my rings way up here on my shoulder. And this way I have lots of wiggle room to get my sling tight and my son in the proper position so that when I'm finished tightening the sling, the rings are actually right where I want them to be instead of down in the middle of my belly. Mistake number four is not making a proper seat. Making a proper seat is one of the most important things that you can do with baby wearing and unfortunately a lot of us really really mess that up in the beginning. When I first started baby wearing with a ring sling I watched all kinds of YouTube videos that talked about the importance of pulling the ring sling up in between baby's legs 
positioning it really well in between baby's body and your body and getting that bottom rail of the sling all the way up to your baby's belly button and spread all the way across from knee to knee. Now, I had a really hard time doing this and I'm not I'm not really sure why it was so hard for me, but I could just never seem to pull the bottom rail of the sling all the way up to my son's belly button. And eventually I just decided that I was gonna figure out a way that was good enough and just go with that. So what I kind of ended up doing was just pulling enough of the sling through where it basically just barely tucked under my son's bottom and I left it at that. It was not an optimal seat and there were many things that happened as a result that made me hate using the sling. One of the first things is that my son just didn't feel very secure in it. It was just barely tucked underneath his bottom, which meant he just didn't feel as safe as he should have felt. The other problem was that because there wasn't a nice supportive seat, I was getting that pain in my neck. It was just constantly pulling and I would have soreness the next day. I just hated it. And the worst thing about not making that good seat that goes from knee to knee is that it actually caused my son's legs to just kind of dangle. They like hung downward instead of going in that nice M-shaped position with the knees up above his bottom. Um, and if you don't know, that can lead to hip dysplasia later on down the road and it's something that you definitely want to avoid. I found that the best way to make a really great seat is instead of trying to like tuck it underneath from the bottom, I like to reach in between me and my baby, right down in between his legs, and start pulling the bottom rail up from the top instead of from the bottom. I have to wiggle and jiggle and bounce a little bit, but as I work with it, I can get that sling up to his belly button and spread from knee to knee the way that it's supposed to be and create that really great seat. The last mistake, and this is something that I've talked about before, is getting too brave too fast. Baby wearing in general can be scary and believe it or not, even tiny, tiny babies are really good at picking up on your cues. So if you're nervous or stressed out or anxious about using the sling, your baby is gonna pick up on it too. And what they're gonna start doing is trying to understand why you're scared and eventually what they're going to uh, come to believe is that they're in a scary situation and they're going to have a fear response. They're gonna fuss and scream and kick and cry and want to be put down and you'll come to the conclusion that your baby doesn't like being worn. So in my opinion, the best way to make it a really great experience for you and your baby is to really take the time to build up your confidence before you go out someplace that is really scary like to the park or to an all day event at the mall or to the zoo or something like that. So some of the tips that I have for gaining your confidence with your ring sling is first of all, always practice um, over top of a bed or a sofa. Um, so do your ups and downs in the sling, taking it on and off with your baby over a soft surface so that if you do something wrong and you have a slip, they're safe. I would also suggest wearing the sling in your house for short periods of time and taking it off before your muscles start to get fatigued. So a lot of times what we do is we get excited about our new baby wearing gear and we put it on and we do all of our chores around the house and when we start getting that sore, fatigued feeling, we take our baby off. And the problem with that is the next day we feel sore and we say, oh, the sling didn't feel good, I guess I, sh I shouldn't do that anymore. The truth is, unless you're a really active individual who does some weight training or exercise, you might find that your muscles really have to get acclimated to the weight that's just kind of permanently on your body when you're wearing a ring sling. So it's a really good idea to take really small chunks of time, get used to it, take it off before your body is starting to feel miserable so that you can slowly get adjusted to it. I also suggest doing things that you know bring comfort to your baby while you have him or her in the sling. So that can include singing or playing with a favorite toy or giving a pack or if you're breastfeeding, try nursing in the ring sling. There are just tons of videos on YouTube to show you how to do that. These are all things that will teach your baby that being in the sling is not a scary experience. It's actually a fun and comforting thing for them. You know, you just have to teach them to understand that they don't need to be afraid, that you've got it under control, that you're not scared, <laughs> and that this can be a really great experience for them. I definitely believe that there are some kids who just don't like being worn, and you might have one of those kids, and that's okay. But I think that before you give up, you should definitely see if you're doing any of these mistakes and try to correct them first, because to be honest with you, baby wearing in a sling is one of the best ways to be productive, to have great bonding time with your baby, and to just feel good about yourself as a mom. It feels awesome to wear your baby and do things and just, I don't know, you feel like super mom or dad. So don't give up, keep giving it a try. If your baby still doesn't like it after you have tried all of these things, then maybe it might be time to 
admit that your child just might not be one of the ones who like it, but at least try to fix these problems first. If you have any questions, I would love for you to leave them in the comments below. I'm also going to link a blog that I just wrote about this, just in case you're the kind of person that would prefer to read these tips instead of try to remember the video. That link will be down in the description box below. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.